Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Nobunaga's Ambition Tai C. I'm the Mysterious JG, and um, I'm a little concerned that the Mori are trying to expand to Sakuya. Or Sakuya? Why? Do I keep saying that? <laughs> Why do I keep saying that? It's Kyushu. Sakuya is like a character in various things. Um. So I'd like to make peace with them before they get on the island and become a threat, but I also need to... It's going to make me move really aggressively to to keep the Mori under control. So I don't know the right way to approach this situation, but I'm a little upset about how quickly um, outside forces have moved into Kyushu. I figured we would... The, the main concern for me would be an overwhelming force comprised of the Oda or... Um, Hideyoshi did, but that is not what is happening. Um, well, I guess that means we really got to keep moving. There's an unexpanded trade zone in Hyuga. And uh, now we're going to have uh, Chris's base or more on the front line with no people in it. Yep, that's that's a thing. Now that and I've already got someone doing goodwill missions to here. Yeah, sorry. It's, and it's Grimoth. So now I need to get some people to our new frontline city. And it does this thing where it doesn't always make this... Yeah, that's definitely not on me. I had to press it once, then back out and then press it again before select officer actually lit up like it's supposed to. So let's look for somebody whose loyalty is kind of low. Well, I shouldn't put somebody with low loyalty right on the front line. Grimoth Reaper is already a lord somewhere. His stats have been going up from being in... Um, the university town. Serena C is already a lord. This guy's already a lord. All the guys that I really like, the created officers whose loyalty isn't already. Oh, well, I guess my loyalty isn't in uh, that range anymore, but I'm also back in university town, I believe. Akoagi, is that what it's called? Yeah. Here's a here's a guy whose last name is Shimazu. He should be pretty happy. Vulture Bean is also an Akawagi. So that yeah, I'm actually kind of interested in. The, well, hold on. I need to get some officers here. Where is a city that has too many officers? Other than Akawaki, Alaka Waka Waka. This guy's there just because he was in charge before I started using it as a university, so I'm not that worried about keeping him there. Satawara has quite a few people. I need people up there who have decent military skills in case it gets attacked. It looks like Satawara became a place with a lot of officers in it. Actually, yeah, that's let you up there too. Which of you... Okay. You three are all blue, so it doesn't really matter which one of you I make the Lord draw. Yes. Reasonably happy. That being said, let's make... Oh, they don't count as being there yet, so okay, maybe in a few turns I'll worry about that. I understand. 
So I want them to start working on military. It's going to take a while. Alright. Now this territory belongs to me. What do I want to do with it? New fishing town places are available. This must be close enough to that fish, okay. You have naval training. I don't know how that helps, but we will take advantage of it. I don't need to worry too much about making this place a super military town because it's not going to be my front line. No, um, oh, hold on. Maybe I didn't need to be on the screen to figure this out. So this zone here with the horses in it is is mine. Okay, so let's build a ranch there. Why can't I build a ranch there? It's got horses. Oh, it's already got horses. It's not green horsey. It's a green yellow a greenish blue horsey. It's a orange horsey. That is that is a ranch I've inherited, not a place where a ranch needs to be built. Okay. I guess there wasn't that much to do, because I already set up my diplomacy last time when I had my chatty video that was ending a session. I had lunch at my, my last uh, infusion this weekend, so I had lunch, and then was watching some stuff for lunch and intended to stay awake, and just and then I decided I would take like a 30-minute nap. It turned out to like a three-hour nap. That happens when you're uh, suffering my, from my ailment and doing the chemical treatments. really does kind of take it out of you. All right, so let's um, warlord of three provinces. Special effect unlocked. Trade Aroha song is it? A, 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 trade Aroha song's trade effect rush has been unlocked. Rush, rush. Thought I heard call my name. That's touch, touch. I don't even know. Never mind. I got hiccups too now. So let's look at our resolve info. We've now obtained Rush. Military and infantry recruitment speed increases. Excellent. Um, Satsuma Roulette. When going to battle with less troops than your opponent, unit attack power increases. That has been of great help to us so far. And it's going to continue to be of great help if I end up fighting the Mori. Warrior Spirit. Officers grow more quickly. Have 10 or more officers with 70 or more Val. Um, okay, we've already got that. Uh, luring is grayed out. I don't understand how this works now. If it's in yellow, you already have it. Certainly have ten more than 10 officers with 70 Val, because I got all those created officers. I don't have luring yet. The red ones... So every, every one of these traits has three goods and one bad. Mountain of Flame, Clearing Effect, Fall. And Exclusionary, Entering Battle While in a Coalition Army with Another Clan Decreases Unit Combat Strength. The, um, yeah, the Shimazi were not known for playing well with others. So the only one we have left to unlock is the one we unlock by winning battles. So there's no great rush. It's going to happen. We're certainly going to have more than 10 battles before this is over. I don't know if me controlling the battles manually makes a difference, because we had that one where it was going to let us auto-control it, and I, neglect I decided not to. Oh, now the guys are coming across the sea to help, but they're helping against, um, not against us, but against the, the Galactor. 
Hi, Yoshihisa. I have subjugated Oka Castle. Yeah, the, um... The Mori are getting stronger than I would I would care for. They're going to take another city, and it's not, like, right up on the coast, either. They're going to... They skipped Takatoriyama and are going straight to one of their more important cities, and it looks like they're going to take it. There's a little reinforcement army coming from their buddies, but it's not going to be strong enough to make a difference here. Oh, that's not even from those buddies. Who is this? Their flags don't don't match. They're from the Otomo. They're Otomo. Never mind. I thought they were coming from across the sea. I thought they lived in a pineapple over the sea. So... I've certainly... 12... Wow, 12... Five, six, four provisions, forty-six, twenty. So I've got enough. I should have enough time. It's time. And now that these guys are really on the war path, sixteen days. Come with me. Yeah, I guess I really, really now feel like I got to aggressively grab their territory before the um, it's time. seems the enemy will set up by Funai Pals, cautious of us. Let us pay attention to their movements. Come with me. Yeah, I was going to take it a little slower than this against the Otomo, but it doesn't look like I have time now. I need to cut off. I need to get between the Mori and their next prey and then ally with the Mori so that I can take as... I'm not going to get all of Kyushu. I'm just going to have to take as much of it as I can because we're not strong enough to fight the Mori. Even if I want to fight the Mori locally on Kyushu, I'm going to have to be careful. I want to make it so that I can get... Um, I mean, hell, maybe instead of taking... Um, instead of taking Shikoku, I, maybe I need to ally with the Chosekabe. But let's see how long we can fight in the vicinity of the Mori before we have to do something with them. The last exchange. Mikawa, Okazaki Castle. This is some Neo plotline stuff that had, um, what's her name, the ninja, Konoichi chick. Upset. Open the gate! Open the gate! One hazy morning, soldiers garbed in familiar armor streamed in through the open gates of Okazaki Castle. What's going on? It's too early in the day for this commotion. Nobuyasu, make preparations to depart immediately. Father? Depart? Not deploy? Silence. Do as I say. I see this is a pressing matter. Can you share the details with me? Da, da, da. Did I offend somehow? I'd like to think I was of use to you, father, in my own way. Nobuyasu was imprisoned at Ohama Castle, in truth a more dilapidated ruin than castle. Hanzo, come out. I know you're there. As you wish. Were you the one they sent to behead me? No. No, Ime? Just no. I will be shouldering that burden. How disappointing. I was quite looking forward to feeling this thing of Hanzo's blade in my by first hand. Not some puss like you. <laughs> That's right, I'm sticking it to my executioner. Tatsugu, did Nobunaga order you to kill me? Dot, dot, dot. The coward must have been terrified that I'd eliminate Nobutada once he shuffled off the mortal coil. Dot, dot, dot. What am I supposed to do, eh, Taratsugu? Tell me, what now? It's said that not long thereafter, Nobuyasu Matsudaira committed suicide at Futa Futamata Castle, around the same time his mother, Sanahime, was executed. 
the chapter of the Nobuyasu incident that had shaken the Tokugawa clan came to a close. Shortly before Hidetada Tokugawa was born in the spring of the same year. So yeah, Ieyasu killed one of his sons. Because, you know, we can now enter a trade agreement with the Mori. Would you like... Would you... Will you enter a trade agreement with them? Sure, that's good for morale. I accept this trade agreement. Let us do business in each other's territory and prosper together. Allow me to report. We have entered into a trade agreement with Mori. We will be able to freely expand into each other's trade zones. None of the cigar I have begun... Now we have... The cigar It's a different guy. We've newly expanded the whatever trade zone. Well, you just captured Oka Castle. Well, that's nowhere as important. Not as important as this trade zone stuff, taking over castles. Here are the results from last month. So we're continue. We're going to be really low on provisions. We're going to have to wait for a while before we can march again. But, um, yeah, my plans had to change. I need to grab as much Otomo as I can. Well, expenses were pretty low this month. But we'll have um, diplomatic expenses from now on. And of course, we've got Milgir. Could always start buying food, but that's slippery slope. You don't want to get dependent on that. The trade zones we can expand into. In Bungo. I want to get into that silver one first. Get a lord assigned now if our people have settled in to Agata. His loyalty is 20. The first four. I like the idea of her being in charge for some reason. She doesn't need it, but. I grateful to accept my Simon as Lady of Agata Castle. Thank you very much. I should meet your expectations. Alright, so who has lots of officers? Because now we're going to need to expand into another city. Uchi's been really thinned out. Sadawara could afford to give up three, and Kakuto could give up one. We don't want to appoint the Lord, though. We want to assign officers. Little Judge Ito here, I think, was here because uh, I was trying to keep him happy by letting him stay in his home city. Put him there and make him the lord. You are not a great officer, man. So that's three. Sorry, what was the other city I was going to pull from, possibly? Katuko. Take one from Izaku. Because I'm going to need officers for this city, too, and possibly another one. I'm actually going to be a little short of officers at some point. What did I say? Katako? Oh, now Kataka wasn't even showing up on the list. Or was it Katuko? Is that what it's actually called? No. Maybe. Well, Mandretta would be a good officer to have up there anyway. But where's Katuko? I'm getting confused now. Izaku. It's Izaku that I wanted to pull from. Katuko, I'll need to pull from eventually, too. Zack, 
Baku. Here we are. Your stats are pretty good for, you know, warrior man stuff. All right. Did the commerce thing already? What about development? Is there anything? We build trading posts and reservoirs up here. Reservoirs are probably more important for for flood damage. And I bet you anything that, yeah, the spot that I can build on is probably the only place where I could build either one. Yes. Oh, well, there you go. I should... I bet you anything. Well, now you can have anything you want, folks, because I bet anything and I was wrong. I don't know if you took me up on that bet in the very brief time that I gave you. I understand. Yeah, this expansion is going to be very expensive in food and money, so... I'm moving more aggressively than I wanted to, but now that the Mori have decided that this is where they want to expand, I, I can't be waiting around. Okay, so despite their threats, they did not march out of Funami to stop me. Otomo's Tanasane Akazuki army and Mori's Akatane Takahashi army are in battle at Ki. Looks like they're finally going to have enough forces to maybe stop the uh, Mori for right now. Oh, never mind. They're taking more than their damage than they're dealing. Thanks to Motokiyo Huayda's exploits... Akatane Takahashi's unit of Mori has won the battle. That didn't take long. Wow. Daihoji was eliminated by Y Uzugi. Y Uzugi, why? Jishin Sai's letter. Jishin Sai Shimazu, the man who revitalized the Shimazu clan. He regarded Yoshihiro, Yukihisa's Yukihisa Shimazu's second son, very highly. When greater than others in valor and strategy. Yoshihiro put his overwhelming military talent to use as the overall military commander of the Shimazu clan. In an age of constant battle, he stood out particularly well. One can see Yoshihiro's military talents even in the adventurous battle of Kizakibaru. Isn't that the one we just had? You were you were in there leading the charge, man. Give yourself a credit. In an age where victory in battle is more important than anything. Is one to decide truly worthy of leading the Shimazu? Unlike Yoshihiro, Yoshihisa Shimazu did not stand out. It's not on the front line. Instead, he held back as the leader of the clan. Well, it's, it's not the way I've been role-playing it. He was out there in battle leading the leader's charge. He was more quiet than most, and he allowed his retainers most of the glory. Many saw him as reserved. My lord, a moment if you would. Tochihisa, what's the matter? Well, I was cleaning the storehouse when I came across this. What's this, a letter? It's from your Jisun Sai to me. Then I shall leave you to it, my lord. <laughs> he has never been able to tell the difference between our handwritings. I totally fooled him with this new letter I just wrote. <laughs> what was Lord Jisun Sai trying to tell me? Please remember to pick up milk on your way home. This written letter was written many, many years before I died and has no great significance. Bye. No. Good will turn to evil, and evil to good, heart to heart, fear shame. Good will turn to evil, and evil to good. If one thinks good is one's evil, it is evil. If one thinks evil is one's good, it is good. And if that is a ruler, is it? And that is a ruler, is it? You're reading a lot into that, buddy. One must know what it means to love the people. Fudo myo o and Aizen myo o are both gods of indignation. Yet of true love for mankind as well. Scolding one for a small mistake will lead to their improvement. Letting mistakes slide by may be pity for the moment, but it will lead to destruction in days to come. To serve Satsuma and Shimazu as its lord, you must cast aside your yourself and rectify all mistakes. There are times to show anger without anger in your heart, and times to bear your anger. In any case, you must follow the law of nature as well as the law of the people. 
On the inside, be gentle so as not to hurt others. Well, on the outside, you must show the strength to not hesitate to correct mistakes. That is true mercy, true love. True love. Yoshihiro lives as his heart dictates and fights as his heart dictates. He is a straightforward man, and that is fine. However, the worthy lord of the three states, the man with true mercy in his heart, that is you, Yoshihisa, and only you. Lord Jisenhai, or Jisen, Jisensai, I am unworthy. I didn't even pronounce your name right the first time. Jisensai Shimazu evaluated Yoshihisa Shimazu as thus. Yoshihisa has in himself the character worthy of the leader of the three states. Yoshihisa, the man who would suppress his self at any time to do none but serve his clan, was the heir to Jisensai and the worthy leader of the Shimazu. Yoshihiro Shimazu, a man blessed with rare valor and talent on the battlefield and well known for it, respected Yoshihiro all his life and said thus, It is an honor beyond men to have been born Yoshihisa's brother. Aww. That's sweet. So that would be another... Qu that's a quest, but not a quest that we had to actively do anything with. Not dispatches. I want to... Uh... Oh, well, never mind. Time is passing. Oh, you used to have subjugated Dusuki Castle. Acting as I do always behind the scenes, never out in front. Okay, so... Quests. We have accomplished just in size letter. Building of Bungo's reserve is complete. Reservoir, I should say. So if I keep taking from these guys, I'm going to make it even harder for them to resist the Mori, but... Uh, I'm definitely going to need to take a break. I mean, the worst case scenario is the Mori end up running all of this territory, and I can live with that as long as they don't also take out these guys. That will be annoying to me. So yeah, I might not get to take over all of uh, Kyushu... Unless I'm willing to change plans and ally with the Chosakabe against the Mori. And honestly, if I get into a few fights with the Mori and I hold my own because of the Shimazu's uh, advantages and they're outnumbered, we could switch up. The Mori could be the first major clan we take down. You know, not counting the Otomo, who were stronger than us when we first engaged them. Four thousand provisions a month. We'd need to get here very quickly. And this is a this is his own personal castle too. Take us ten days to get there. We've got like a month and change. Come with me. Let's see if we can't finish this motherfucker off and get rid of his Christian kingdom. We won't have enough. There's I don't think there's any way we would have enough to take Kitsuki, and it could be that I'm expanding too fast and I'm messing up the quests. But um. I don't know. Meanwhile. The Kono clan, eh? Okay, so these blue guys are expanding against those guys. It looks like it's going to be the Kono, the uh, Sogo, and the Chosakabe fighting for cute for... Shikoku. I, it might be that I'm not going to be able to ally with the Mori after all. I'm going to need to ally with the Chosakabe. And to tell you the truth, I was building up trust with both of them. Hmm. I don't know. My plans have been thwarted a bit here. Tencho 7 Summer. Lord Yoshihisa, our merchant, would like to offer us goods. I am truly honored to be allowed the privilege of your audience, my liege. I have come here hoping to offer up the grand treasures I came across today. Matsubana Caddy. Made in China. The tea leaf... Oh, so make sure it wasn't painted with uh, lead-based paint. The tea leaf urn made in southern part of China. With Matsuhima and Crescent, it is considered one of the three finest urns in the land. Yeah, we'll make that a family treasure. Turning goodwill has improved Mori's opinion of us. My unit has captured Usuki Castle. Expanded to trade zones. Here are the results from last month. And we need to stop marching. Like, we need to stop marching. I'm out of food. 
I thought I'm probably gonna have to buy some food just to make sure that we finish this conquest. I've been really trying to stay away from that, but let us conduct a trade. Nine thousand. As you command. Yeah, this is painful. Thank you very much. But I really want to take that city out. Thank you very much. I'm gonna save. Should have saved before I made that decision, actually, but both gold and food will continue to flow in over time. All right, guys, when we come back next time, we're going to take as much Otomo territory as we can before I have to stop. Um, there's two ways of looking at it. Either I'm grabbing what I can while I can, or I could have be that I should have backed off earlier to give them a chance to grow stronger and, and hold off the, the Mori longer, but I don't think they're ever going to be able to hold off the Mori. So, catch you guys next time.